I started off a short while back explaining a little bit about wood swords and metal swords and the, the need in more urban environments to have something less ninja-like, less samurai-like on your body as you're out and about wanting to do some practice in possibly parks, beaches or cheese aisles in supermarkets, churches, libraries. So we initially looked at, and I suggested at the very beginning, getting the cheapest retractable sword you could find on Amazon, which was this. It came in this smart little pouch, came with a tassel, had a nice little yin-yang top to it, very lightweight, it had a very plasticky feel to it. But the worst aspect of it was there's no real tip to it. It's now inside the sword permanently. If I continue to extend the sword, it just comes apart completely. What's only a tenner? Plain, you get what you paid for. <laughs> Similar sort of pouch, as you can see here. Again, got it off uh, Amazon or eBay, can't remember which now. And this was substantially a better sword, partly because it carried with it several weights inside the handle that you could remove and make lighter or heavier as you so wished. Felt more substantial. I've been using it for last three months or so, and I haven't had any problems with it at all. It's a slightly better build, the sword itself doesn't fall apart, doesn't collapse in on itself. Overall, it's a good practice sword. Still has that sort of plastic tacky handle to it. Still has rather dragons and trigrams and hexagrams and yin yang symbols splattered across it to make it look a little bit more oriental, I suppose. One of the issues though, with both this one and the cheaper retractable sword is that in order to put the tassel in that gives you this very small little hole there if you can see at the top by the time you've looped your tassel through this hole which is a pain and then you've got to knot it over that side and it doesn't look very good you're left with a conundrum how do you get it back in your handy traveling pouch although the sword will go in there's no way you're going to get that in as well so that's going to have to sit on the outside which means you can't really do the pouch up which means it's whole thing's rather pointless <laughs> So yesterday I got this in the post. It took about three weeks to come and it's called the Fizz Cool Training Sword. First I'm going to show you the unboxing of it. As opposed to a pouch and an envelope actually comes in a box. You'll notice on the side, yup, that's the sword dimensions. You actually get a choice of six sword lengths when you buy your sword, ranging from 35 to 39 inches. You select the appropriate one for your particular height and it gives you instructions as to work out how to do that on the website of Fizzcool on the Amazon page I think I bought it. Inside the box, first thing you'll notice you get is a little letter. Look at that. Dear Paul Reed, it says, thank you very much for buying our product. We present you not only with your fizz sword, but as an additional gift, an extra tassel. Very nice of them. Opening up the box further, you discover that you've got what appears on the surface, a sort of male toiletry bag or a rather large pencil case. But in fact, this is something rather special because as opposed to the previous two pouches you couldn't get your tassel in, voila, here is not only your sword, but sword with tassel. All in the same bag and even in a little cleaning rag with the bag. Let's have a look at the sword itself. You'll notice it looks somewhat different from the other swords. We just pick up the cheapy again, show you that, smaller, lighter, it weighs about three times as much, I would say. Very heavy handle. The whole feel of it is less elaborate. It's not trying to 
convey anything specifically oriental about it. It does have small yin yang up there, if you can see that. Other than that, there's no markings on it anywhere, and I quite like that. It's not pretending to be anything other than what it is. The other thing you'll notice, instead of having a, a plastic cover, it's got a very firm stainless steel cover. In fact, the whole build of it is very much more solid, and it just feels much stronger than the others. When we open it up, there's less sections, and those that are, are very solidly kept into place. Finally, look at that tassel hanging there. The reason the tassels on this one are not on some of my others is because, can you see, there's a hook, and to put it on, you just thread it through and release it. This hangs very nicely down there. Clicks into place, folds up, and goes back into your bag. So, with the tassel still attached in the bag. On the surface, it appears solid. It appears much better build. The company more responsive. The whole thing just feels more authentic in a way. I'll let you know how I get on with it, whether or not I'd recommend it for the sword course. I'm going to be trying it. Watch out for it in the upcoming videos over the next month and I'll feed back to you. If you've got any more queries, if you've got any more swords that you use, particularly in the retractable area, because I'm looking specifically at those, then let me know, leave a comment in the box below or drop by tbotmonk.com and leave me a message there. Thanks for watching. Watch out for the next update coming to a course near you soon.